Okay, so I finally have the updated version of the Android app, and I'm going to do a new scheduling tutorial for the new look of the schedule because it's very different now. So I'm going to head on into the Palfish Teacher app. Okay, so we're on the main screen. This is your home screen. All teachers have this first. And we're going to click on Schedule, not Appointments. If you go into Appointments, you can hit Schedule here. We don't want that. We want the schedule, which is from appointments, head over to the right, third icon, blue square with a little clock on it. Tap that. So the first option I want to show you is the trash bin, okay? The trash bin is in the upper right corner, and when you hit it, you will get close selected days time slots or close all time slots. If you are a new teacher, just starting out on Palfish, just learning how to use everything, not sure of everything, please do this first. Close all your time slots. Close everything throughout your entire schedule and then reopen it based on what you need. Because when you are interviewing, you may have opened random slots that you might not actually be able to work. Okay? It's also very important when you first join and you're waiting that three-hour wait to frequently check the app because once, once you are accepted, you can be booked for trials. The latest that you can be booked without notice from a pop-up would be two hours before an open time slot. So if you opened your, let's just use Eastern Standard Time, for example, you opened your 7 a.m. slot. 5 a.m., that slot could still be booked. After 5 a.m., no. But 5 a.m. or earlier. So if you're going to bed at, I don't know, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, whatever, you need to set an alarm to wake up before that 7 o'clock slot. Otherwise, you may be booked and you may miss a class. So you need to check a lot. If you're going to go to bed, close slots before you go to sleep. That way you can sleep in. Do not leave them hanging open. So you can close the selected day slots or close all time slots. And the next thing you have is your log. And your log will say who booked what by who and who canceled what. And yeah, I had like random books and cancels in a row. They like booked and then they canceled. Abnormal lessons is where you would go to do a, um appeal. But I haven't had to do those so I can't guide you on that yet. Um, so you have the option in the top dark gray area for show all time slots or multi-select. Show all time slots will give you the 24 hours clock. Multi-select means that you can pick multiple slots at the same time. Okay. I'm going to turn that off. I do not need to open multiple slots at the same time. I cannot book additional times. So now the functions of opening a slot. So I'm going to open a slot that's probably not going to get booked at this point. That way I don't have trouble. So when you first do it, you have these options and they apply every week will be automatically highlighted. If you only want to apply it for the current day, you will unselect that orange check. If you want it to be applied to every week, you want Saturday, Every Saturday at 8 a.m. Beijing time, because that's what I live in, Taipei Standard Time and Beijing time are the same time zone. So if you want it to be 8 a.m. every single Saturday, you can hit apply to every week. If you want to do 8 a.m. every single day, you can apply to every day. If you just want to apply it to every day but not open it as a weekly slot, you can do that too. If you want it to open for only today, this day only, you're going to deselect both Things. You want neither one to be orange. Turn them off. And then it will open for only that one day. Now if you notice, there's a blue fish icon in the bottom corner of many of my slots. That is official kids course only slots. That means Free Talk may not book these slots. Only trials and official students can. If you tap on an open slot, you will get the old options from the original tutorial. You can select to open it to all students which will get rid of the blue fish and you will be able to accept free talks. You can only close selected days. So say I'm booking in the future and I know that on Saturday, May 
what, 28th, I think, 26th, I don't remember, I can't do it. I can scoop on over. Let me close this one first. Okay, I'm going to hop over ahead. Okay, I, I guess Friday is the soonest I can book now. So I'm just going to apply that for now. And I know that, oh no, I have something come up. I can't do this day. I can only close selected days. And that means that every other Friday that I opened up weekly will be fine. But this specific Friday will close. Okay. I'm going to reopen that. Now, the next thing. Close every day. So say you have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every day at 8 a.m. opened. And your schedule is changing in your life and you can no longer work that slot. You can close every single day. Or you can select to close every Friday. So maybe only a Friday schedule changed and you can't work 8 a.m. on Fridays anymore. You can select to close every Fridays. Now, if you manipulate a slot, if you manipulate a slot from Friday the 31st, it will only affect days following that date. It will not affect Friday the 24th. So I will show you that. I will apply to every week. Confirm. So it's now a weekly slot for Friday the 24th. If I backtrack Friday the 17th, it is not open. If I run forward to Friday the 31st, it is open. If I close every Fridays, that was I close the 31st, the 24th will still be open. It only affects the slots after that date. Okay? So I think that's about all. Fixed means that the student wants that slot priority. They will generally automatically boot. Okay, let's turn that off. They will generally automatically book as the slot time approaches on any specific day. So like my 4.30 today, at about 4 o'clock, I got a notification saying they booked. I, I, would it be the 24th? Probably. The 24th Friday at 16.30. So the 31st, they can't book yet. Students can only book up to two weeks in advance. So it is currently the 11th. They can book the 18th, and they can book through the 25th, but they cannot book the 26th yet. And the 25th, only slots that have already passed are opened. So it's currently only 1 o'clock in the morning. So these slots are not open to public yet, but these slots are now. So these would have been booked because this is Friday the 24th and fr the Friday, May 10th is already over. So these will now be available to all. Tomorrow throughout the day, I may or may not see bookings popping in in these open slots starting tomorrow. Sunday, I won't see until Sunday. So what that means is that if you need to take days off, you know you have a vacation coming, you can close them. You can pop in, oh, Saturday the 20th. Uh, let me pick one that I have a fixed. Monday the 27th. I know I can't work the 1630. I can close that for that day. I will close only selected days and it will ask me to confirm. You can confirm that. It's no problem. You will get this warning and it's not a big deal. You just notify your student, hey, on this day, I can't have class. Just send them a private message or next class, let them know in class. Hey, I've closed off Monday the 27th. I'm sorry, I have a doctor's appointment and I can't attend that day. The parents will generally be okay with it as long as it's an infrequent occurrence. So that's how that works. If you have a fixed slot that the student no longer books or never booked, you can contact your admin to get it taken away especially if they haven't booked two or more weeks in a row. If they book infrequently, I don't know if they will remove it. The fix just gives that person priority. So when the slot opens, they will automatically be booked or they can choose to book within a certain amount of time. If they don't book within that certain amount of time, another student can book. Official kids course students must book 24 hours or more in advance. If it is under 24 hours, you will receive a pop-up saying a personal lesson request, and you can choose to accept or reject. Um, there are three types of pop-ups, I believe, the personal request, the urgent request, 
and the emergency substitute one. You can choose to accept or reject any of these kinds of pop-ups with no type of action against you. It's fine. And that's about it. That's all I can say about the scheduling. I hope this is enough. I hope it's understandable. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. You can leave in the comments. You can message me on the app. My name is clearly visible there. My name is basically the same everywhere, Facebook, um, but my Facebook is banned from people adding me as friends, so you might be able to send me a message, but I might not see that because it might go into those odd folders. So if you want to message me, it's best to do that on the app or even just leave a comment on the YouTube videos that you have questions about, and I will get back to you ASAP. That's all. Good night.